Hi guys, so I didn't know if I was going to be able to film today because I'm on set for a commercial and um, hello, look at this bathroom, it's so clean. Um, I'm just a background actor today for a national commercial, so it's paying really nice. So I said yes. So today's Sunday and I'm working, um, haven't been used and I've been here for a few hours but I think I'm going to be using the next scene after lunch. But Hi you guys, it's Tuesday today and I'm filming a film at home commercial. I've done this before. It's lower paying, but it's also at home and I can get it done pretty quickly. I think today it's going to take me maybe around an hour to film this. Um, they gave me a little script uh, here and I just have to do these shots, some b-roll, some actual shots, a little bit of green screen, um, but I should be able to do it in about an hour, hour and a half. I've done this before. The last one was a little bit shorter um as far as the lines go but um yeah this one is a little bit more fun i get to be more creative and it should only take me an hour and a half maybe two hours if that but i don't have to do any editing i just have to film it and send it over so that's what i'm gonna do right now i chose this little backdrop with you know a little pop of color now i'm going to film this and then hopefully we can get some self-tape auditions um requests for this week Sorry that you're uh, vertical, but I actually have to film part of this um, vertically for TikTok because you are going to be using these for TikTok as well. So that's why it's vertical, but I almost never shoot vertically. And because it is for TikTok and they're going to be putting their own background stuff, I'm going to be using a green screen. And the first part actually took me way less than I thought. It took me less than 30 minutes. Okay, I'm almost done. Um, I just need to take like a before and after shot. Oops, let me do this. These are medications. So this is before the medication and then after the medication. And because I want to get creative, I want to do the before inside and then the after outside in nature. Um, and I just walked around my neighborhood and I couldn't find any really cute like you know, wall with flowers or something. So I'm going to go find some flowers somewhere. All right, I did it. I found some flowers in an abandoned, well, I don't know if it's abandoned, but nobody is working here right now. The garage is closed. So I just walked over to some flowers and, and then smelled them. I just got out of the shower and noticed that my photos are ready. So I wanted to take a look with you. Oh, that's cute. I like this. This looks like a, I mean, I'm sure it was a genuine smile, but I like this smile. Um, so I'm gonna add some of these to my um, my online profiles and send them over to my agents um, but I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I have three voiceovers to uh, record today so it's much later and I have to f uh, record three voiceover auditions in my closet I have my headphones right here um, three in one night I think the most I've recorded in a row, like in one sitting is two. I usually just get one voiceover audition. This one is from my agents, once for a video game, once for Target, and once for Marriott. They're all a little different. Two of them are very chill, um, but uh, that's what I need to do today. But something I haven't told you about before I record these voiceover auditions, which I got all of them for my agent. Um, if you're interested in seeing where I get my auditions, which ones I book and I don't, every first Saturday of the month, I share the breakdown of all of the auditions I did for that month. It has been pretty slow this month, but I've also been working on other projects, um, including the short film, which uh, that Javi and I made together, which is called The Lease. And um, we're going to be releasing a trailer of it really soon, but we decided to submit it to film festival so today we had our last little meeting about that one and now we're talking about future ones but so I'm, i've just been working on a lot 
but I wanted to tell you something that's not related to acting at all, something that I've done in the past. One sec. We have two little kittens. <laughs> we are fostering kittens. We've done this before. Um, they have names that the foster place gave them, but this one is Libra and this one is Gemini, but I'm going to put them down. So we're fostering kittens and it's super cute and adorable. Um, something that we have done in the past, but we've had them for a week, a week and a day now, and I just hadn't shared it yet. But um, that's something else that I've been doing. And it's so adorable. She's trying to get back in here. They're not allowed in the room because there's carpet in here. <laughs> okay, let's record these self tapes. Uh, this voiceover, these voiceovers. Yes, so come on, let's let's record these voiceovers in my closet. If you've never seen my setup, I have a microphone and a little pop filter. I have a microphone and a pop filter right here, and I connect my phone and my headphones onto this here, and um, I record my voiceovers right here in my closet. Hey. Good morning, it's Friday and uh, I just edited and sent over all three voiceover auditions to my agents. Um, it's been pretty snow, oh, snow, <laughs> slow now that I think about it, but like I mentioned, I have been working on a lot of really exciting things um, and they're, they're not necessarily auditions, but it's definitely putting me in a position where I can audition more. One of the things is that I'm going to be helping um, with Cast in Project with their Instagram page. So if you guys want to go follow them, I'm going to be helping them post as well because it's three casting directors right now, three LA casting directors that um, run that page and they just want to give more information to Latinx and people that want to be in the industry, give them knowledge give them information on how the industry works how to get started they share what casting websites they use they've been also sharing a lot of casting calls and um yeah i've also started to use instagram a lot more this week usually i don't really care for it but because i have been using it more for acting and not as much for just socializing um i have really enjoyed it this week just sharing a lot of different casting calls including um latino filmmakers the instagram page shared a casting call for father of the bride there's a cuban remake of the father of the bride if you guys have never seen it definitely recommend it um steve martin and um just a really fun little movie. So there's a reboot and they are they were doing a casting call for it. I don't know if it's too late um, because it did seem like they were going really quickly with it. I actually uh, shared it with one of my friends uh, as a uh, Latino and um, he submitted right away and then he got a, a self-tape audition request right away. And that night I actually helped him uh, do the self-tape. I was his reader and he sent it over. It was going to be do the next morning at 10 a.m. So not even 24 hours later. I'm assuming they're doing it really fast. They're most likely going to be choosing it, you know, before Monday. Um, so if you're watching this after May 24th, then probably don't submit to that, but and they probably already made their selections. But you can check out that video for information on that casting call. It's an open casting call for Warner Brothers and Plan B Entertainment, which Plan B is uh, Brad Pitt's production company. And um, I also talk about a few Instagram pages that you should follow over there. I want to tell you guys something exciting. So for the next three months and Depending on how it goes, you know, I might be able to do it for longer, but for the next three months, I'm going to be doing a giveaway during my vlogs. So if you watch my vlogs, you can just comment and you will enter to win. Um, and I will announce what the prizes will be um, the first Saturday of every month. So I've been doing weekly, weekly vlogs lately and I just share with you what I did and I post them on Saturday mornings. And every first Saturday, I share with you a breakdown of all of the auditions that I did that month, which ones I got cast for, how I got them, if I got them from a certain casting website or my agents or an Instagram account, Facebook, whatever. I share with you exactly, you know, what I did. Was it a self tape? all of that. So every first Saturday I do that. I do a recap of the previous month. So the first Saturday of June, I'm going to do a recap for May. And during that uh, vlog, I'm going to be giving away something. So look out for the vlogs, especially the Saturday vlogs, where I give you a breakdown of all the um, auditions I have been doing for that previous month, because I'm going to be giving away um, to one person. I'm going to be giving away a prize for June, July, and August.
And depending on how it goes, I might do it more or just, you know, give prizes for another monologue competition or something. Uh, just a little hint, it is going to be something for your self tape setup. Um, and uh, it's definitely gonna level it up. So I'm excited to do that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video and leave me a comment.